I mean, Earth Spirit has been just such a solid hero overall. Uh, this hero, like the toolkit of it alone, is insane. He's just one of the most well-rounded supports always has been. He comes with a stun, a silence, a gap close, a huge AoE ulti. Later on in the game, he's got a save. Like, there's just so much that this hero can do conceptually. On a strength body as well. On a strength on body. A this, is a body. Doom, this is a doom which we saw King Win run yesterday as well. Did they win with it? Uh, yeah. Um, I believe they won. I believe it was the game Ten that they won. Seconds Ten seconds. seconds maybe. And uh, they've been picking this very early on as well. Five no. seconds. Plus, hurry, uh, hurry. Disruptor. Like, Disruptor in general is just like a very aggressive hero. You don't pick this hero to go... Uh, and like hold high ground or anything like that. You pick this hero so you can run at people because as an offensive hero, like Radiant excellent band. hero, because Glimpse is just such an incredible ability, but as a defensive hero, like this hero sucks. When you get run at, your ulties are never going to be very ideal. Your rings aren't going to be very ideal. Your glimpsing is just like kind of like, go away for a little bit and yeah. everyone just like comes and runs at you again. Like this kind of shows you like this is a tempo-based hero. They're going to run at you. They're going to want to fight again. If they're running, if you're running at them and they have to leave, I mean, that's like, you know, like we said, last year in the pack, that's what the Disruptor wants to be up against. But maybe just Only in raw seconds. lane presence, what he has, it's not quite the same. Obviously, he doesn't like being on the defensive. If Maneski loses, are hurry, they, like, hurry. in dead last place right now? They are right now anyway. Yes. Okay, so other teams in the group have two points or more? Yeah. So they're, oh. They're in real trouble, basically. If they lose this, they have to win their last game 2-0. They have to they, they win their last match 2-0. And I think probably some stuff has to happen for them, uh, maybe? Not necessarily, because there are other teams on two points, right? Including Secret. Okay. If Secret, for instance, lose both their matches today 2-0, then they would only have two points. Okay. And therefore, Maneski would need to win one game, yeah. either but this one or one of the ones later on, and they would also draw on two points. I, I think uh, right now it's difficult to kind of go this team need to do this in order to get through. Yeah. I think we need one more set of games after this to be in a position where we can actually start talking about who can tie break and who can go through and who can't go through. But technically, mathematically, all the teams can still play from group. See, but it's just rough. And you also don't yeah. want to be in a position where you're anxiously waiting for the other teams Absolutely to mess not. up. No, I tell you what it will do, though. King win win this game. They're mathematically guaranteed to go through because they will have five points at the end of this match if they win against Mineski in game two, Radio which is more than enough to make it through because obviously Mineski only have one, so they can only get four. There you go, maths. King win. The penguin is doing it. I'm just, you know, I, I wonder if they know that. that, by the way. They have to. Because if they draw this, they're still on the three points, which still leaves them vulnerable because they have three other seconds. teams in the in the. They've got two. Not a bad position to be in, though. No, not a bad, Five but, but it still remain. means that if they lose 2-0 in the last match of the day, they could then not make it. it I mean, it's a very tight Group B based yeah. on yesterday, so yeah, any yeah. number of well, things could happen. Yeah. Only Newbie took three points out of any of those games yesterday. Just shows you the power of the three-point win for yeah. winning 2-0. I'm, I'm yeah, I've been smirking kind of this whole time, because I'm looking at Mineski's bands. They banned uh, <laughs> Bands three through five, and you know, I uh, beef. It's really tanky heroes, I guess. The dragon's been banned, but we'll see. I mean, Nyx isn't like super tanky or anything like that, but it's a nice hero. King Gwen seems to be, uh, well, I mean, they're banned at least this game. Like, there's a lot of like split push that they're getting rid of, a lot of like very pesky split push things that you kind of need catch for and like that's a deterrence against a lot of you know you wanting to five man very early on if you already start losing towers to the outer pressure you can't necessarily get those five mans that you want and that seems to be a bit more of a direction for their band pick. i think nix though um you need vision based five heroes or like heroes that like hurry, fact find for hurry. you and that's what he's going to do uh, when you pair it with the disruptor especially so like you have a hero that will scout ahead uh, you just like catch somebody with glimpse unawares just absolutely kill them, like murder somebody immediately. Not bad against Venno, because you're almost always going to be able to get um, your Carapace off. And on top of that, you have a high amount of regen. So if you are happening in the lane against them, it's not as big of an issue. Like, you're one of the few heroes that can stand against that. You just get a few mangoes and you're chill. And if and when he gets an Agadems, he actually becomes... Well, if you if you're forced to five man or take those five, he becomes incredibly tanky. Radio yeah. team and now I haven't seen Venno though in a while, but DP once again by Kingwin. What do you think of uh, Venomancer with the these recent uh, patches? Because he didn't really get 
I mean, his talents got changed dramatically, but other than that, he didn't really directly get changed that much. I mean, that directly changes the hero a lot. Because before, when pick. you had like the 75 damage talent and the XP gain, you were almost you would almost Five always transition. Like th that hero was OP in the sense that he scaled at every part of the game. There was like never a point in the game where you were like, "Man, Venno sucks now." You're just like, "Wow, okay, he just got better and he gets better." <laughs> and he was a strong early game presence, uh, good laning, like pushes towers. There that wasn't a lot bad. more that you could ask for him. But I think the, the DP is a nice response to the Spirit Breaker as well. Because she's one of the few heroes that doesn't really care. If you get charged, most mid heroes, you just die. There's not a lot of heroes that just like enjoy being charged. But DP, she doesn't really care because of Spirit Siphon. Is, is Venno, it feels like Venno's talents are, you know, with the Gale, with like the Poison Only Nova. It seems seconds. like a lot more geared towards like magical type of core now. Whereas he could kind of Five go both ways a little remain. bit before. Yeah, I mean, in the past it was kind of insane because you would build magic and it didn't matter because you knew you got you had a 75 damage talent in the pocket. So you could go this one way and your hero would naturally like Radius evolve back. into something better. So it wasn't like you could just build a hood or a BKB against this hero because eventually he would take more damage. So uh, item builds against him were a lot more complicated too. But they need a carry... I hope they don't take something like Omni. Ten seconds to pick. That was wild. Again. It's like... Five for Kingwin seconds. too. Like, hurry, don't do that. Hurry. Don't go in that direction. And if you do, have a game plan Radiant behind it. Team pick. Yeah, man. Last picks. Lycan band Something. They're honest. <laughs> they understand. That was the reason. <laughs> they actually just banned the majority of the previous lineup. Yeah. They got like three of the heroes out of there, which is crazy. Only 10 seconds. Disrupting, isn't it? Yeah, they need... At least. So Five who else can we get in remain. their... In their when to fill out the... I mean, there's the timber saw that we saw yesterday. I'm trying to figure out who Maneski needs right now. Like, they need a hero... Uh, maybe like Lifestealer or something that's just like has some sort of insta jump that doesn't really care like after he uses everything and he then he gets doomed like that or clinks or something like that like you need a hero that doesn't really care about uh the doom too much or like one that jumps in uses his toolkit and then now picking. that'd be nice for the knicks as well yeah. Yeah. oh another they could do like venno one then they've got options here now i guess it'll see we'll see when mushi picks up his hero Only 10 seconds. Sure, guys. Why not? <laughs> just go with it. Five this, seconds. This hurry, point, hurry. Just literally going along with Jack's big principle. I yeah. think Timber's sick now. King has a chance to answer. Oh, it's a game. Oh, oh, I, am. Right. I hear Black laughing like crazy. Yeah. Oh, well, I, I think probably Black sat there and went, ah, this looks like a good AM game. Did you, Black? Thought it was yeah, a he did. Game? He did. He did. Yeah, There's he no did. way. Yeah, he did. I can tell. He's like, yeah, he's like, this looks like a, a 900 farm game to me. Might be a good AM game, but it's in violation of their principles. I don't think it goes particularly well with the Disruptor <laughs> early on. Wait, what? I am picking, I like Mineski's last pick a lot. This is a hero that has seemed to be better on this patch, but still hasn't been picked up that much. I'm going with Mineski in this game. Okay. I like it. Bold beef principles. I think that Will. this anti mage is... It matches up very well against the Venomancer, for one. On top of that, like they don't have the best catch, once again, on the side of uh, Maneski. I think I've seen a lot of AMs lose lately, so I don't know if that hero's just weak, but I still think that if there is an AM game to win, it's this one. I'm interested, though, to hear what Black says, because he is the anti mage player, but I'm going to go all in King Gwen 2-0. All right, good stuff. Uh, he's right as well. There is an AM specialist in the commentary box right now, so let's check in with him. He's with Black. Is that something like maybe AM specialist with the way Paul worded that one? Yeah, he said, yes. he said he was black. Yeah, yeah. I'm, so? yeah the AM specialist is with black. AM, Give me your thoughts, please. Uh, terrible hero. Anyone that actually plays him has no life whatsoever. And Ice Rock did the right thing by nerfing the living crap out Another of his blink. I actually can't believe you just described me perfectly. <laughs> You're a terrible person, Black. I hate you. Why, why did I get paired with having to cast with you, of all people? Man, I'm just happy that, like, when the when the draft happened for 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 Maneski, we're sitting there and like Blitz is just like praying to whatever Dota gods there are out there. It's like, please, Gaben, do not let 
And normally I'd be picked by Mushi in this last one. I want to see ISISI something here that wasn't a Venomancer. Something that was flashy that could do work and help win a game for him. Because that's always been the thing with ISISI. He, he carries a lot of teams through that three position. And putting him on Centaur, putting him on something which, while it may not be great against the Kingwin lineup, is going to be great for ISISI to be ISISI. Yeah, I mean, you definitely well, always want to give him a hero that can make like, a lot battle. of things happen. If he can carry a game, he usually will. So, <laughs> Timbersaw, Centaur, I'm good yeah. with that. You know, Phoenix. Let's, let's just see that high return damage kick in, and everyone starts here. killing themselves on yeah, it. Right? Like the anti mage is taking 100 damage per hit and killing himself. Yeah, I mean, it can actually happen. How, how does it actually work with the with the interaction of things like like Doom, Exorcism, like like how, how does return work with those? Well, Exorcism doesn't. You don't get any return damage, as well as Doom. You don't either. Only God, so really if you Infernal Blade him, you get the return damage. So it's just the direct attack. So it's just, just direct attack. Yeah. All right. Cool. Just wanted to double check Dude, the mechanic before we started. Windrunner actually dies to Centaur. So badly. You focus fire him, you just die. <laughs> it is hilarious. Didn't she get buffed up recently in this patch? Oh, yeah, no, she got no, buffed with a lot, her, yeah. her trip shackle. Yeah. Okay, but what, what has to happen is this AM needs to get really fat because Spirit Breaker and Earth Spirit and Centaur actually are really good at catching him early on. Mm -hmm. So he needs to get that Manta style. Like. Before minute 25 would be optimal. Of course, if you're free farm, you have like minute 20, but 25 is like a good, a good time to get it at. And they will have to make a lot of space for this AM as well. Yeah. We'll, we'll see if they're capable of doing it for the moment. It's an attack up on top. Ninja Boogie being initiated on. They locked him inside the wall. They've already used their stun, but Jab just rotated off the lane. They'll charge forward. The Horf Stomp from Ice 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 will catch out too. There's still not enough damage for this as we go in full screen. Back into the fight. The wall is up once more, locking in these two off lanes. Another double stun from the uh, from the Earth Spike of Karkor. He tries to reach Exotic Deer. Even if he could cancel the south, that would have been a good victory, but now he's trapped in the trees. In too deep. The wall is up they've locked him in the corner it's guaranteed first blood for the exotic deer and there's not much more ice 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 could do about it in fact now he's out of mana if they can get a body block off here it, i think ice, it's ice is actually down as well the wall will come up it won't trap him out the support is in the neighborhood the south being burnt quickly they're looking for the vision they won't get it in time and ice 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 will taunt them come here come at me boys you may have taken my support but you won't take me it was actually very unfortunate the anti mage cancelled his attack like he was in the swing already, but then he cancelled it because he didn't expect to be in range. Denied. But yeah, I don't think it would have been a kill. So it's very hard to kill the centaur actually because he doesn't have any mana, so Antimage doesn't really deal any damage to him. Mm -hmm. And also, what's going to be very hard for Team Kinguin is the what are we here? heroes like Doom One v One very handily. Well, right now the CS is well, it's it's better for the Venom as far as denies go. Well, Doom at six. Yeah, he's still doing it, but of course, as the levels go up, it's gonna get harder and harder. Oh, Jazz being a dick. Parthos at least has the bounty ring to play with. Karkor coming around once again. They've been slowly chipping away at Ice Ice Ice. Now the charge board, just trying to create a little bit of space in Ninja Boogie for the turning double hedge. The damage is nice, but Exotic Deer will survive. Guess the other side of that kinetic field wants to jump back in for the last hit if it's going to be possible. Glimpse. Ninja Boogie, nice. there's your glimpse back. Burn him once more, keep the stun going. And great <laughs> target selection from Kingwin. Three kills now to their name, three minutes in. But it's not stopping Meneski from just running bodies back into the lane. Yeah, they have to be careful what they're doing because this Earth Spirit doesn't actually do much bot lane, I think. Well, he's gonna get a kill now, probably. Yeah, they drop it him low. You got the uh, the slow down jabs, ah, that regeneration. At least you got the kick for more control. But Mushi, what damage has he got? It's a two-two build up, so it's nice with both the Gale and just the enough. Poison Sting. Mushi, You're just down. enough. Barely gets that yeah, tick. Was like the last tick. Yeah. They they needed something like that to work because now Mushi's got a good injection of money. Nisha in very very deep in this mid lane. Jabs are rolling. Boulder four shrapnels up. So Nisha no way to really escape from it. And that's two critical kills. Kingwood would doing a great job up on the top lane, but now they're mid and bottom. Swings the balance ways of Mineski. How, how did the DP end up there? I didn't see that. Uh, like, I'm, I'm assuming kicked. Like he was like in the he, had, he had to be kicked. That's the only way he, you get you get in that. Like he probably got kicked and then charged as well from the direction and bashed in there. Mm -hmm. Well, charge forward from Ninja Boogie. Nothing really cancels that. You're not going to commit glimpse yeah. for that. And he, Ninja he, Boogie he, keeps the harassment going. They can actually kill him. Well, the stun's going to be out. 
And he made just not so huh? certain about it. He can blink forward. Now the glimpse. Okay, that's an easy way to do it. No. Pull him back in. There's no charge mana available. And Ninja Boogie will fall. Very interesting. Like he kind of just had himself in there. Because Centaur was farming creeps under the tower. Probably felt like they had it. The wall is up just oh. in time. And the mana burn. No hoof stomp available. And, uh, well, <laughs> King won again. They're claiming more and more kills up on this top. Three kills, two a assists for that anti-mage. All five. 100% participation rate for King went on that top lane. It was really well played by the Nyx. Cause he was about to hoof stomp and then he hit him with the carapace on, which made him which made Centaur stun himself. Mm -hmm. And then he burned off the mana for the hoof stomp and then he didn't have it available anymore. You wanna know something really stupid though? With all of this going down, with the five kills that happen up on the top lane. It is still Minescu who hold the highest net worth. I know we're five minutes in, the net worth doesn't really stretch out that far, but it's both Venomancer and the Sniper holding the one and two position in net worth. At this game around, they don't really have... Oh, roll the ball forward. No, no, wide ball. They can't commit to this. But yeah, this game, as opposed to the last game where they had Earth Spirit and DP, they don't really have anyone to gap close on the no. Sniper. <laughs> ice, ice, ice! Whoa! Well, I'm glad we get to catch the end of that. Ice, ice, ice taking the killing spree. They just kill Glimpse back will happen, but that ain't, that's, that's, that's not a kill unless there's more support. Yeah, there is. Coming up, Nyx Assassin, so supports will get some experience here. They're trying to kill off Ice, 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 and they will claim it. Before the end, Mitch can get the last swing, at least we'll get some experience, but back in towards the mid. Spirits have to wear off now for Nisha, and he just burns the exorcism. Ninja Boogie begins his TP, but the damage is too high. Nyx Assassin, not even the stun required from him to help get the kill on the SP, but Nisha? He's gonna catapult waves, this won't be a, a useless ulti from him. He can at, keep adding pressure to the mid against the moon. Yeah, maybe like three, four hundred damage. Did the enemy make a solo kill by the centaur? Is that what happened? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, actually, it wasn't even a solo. Like it was, it was a one on two. So, enemy mage was not alone. He had a disruptor with him. Yeah, but he got killed by centaur alone, right? There was no support up there. Correct. But he's he's Painful. been he's been adding a lot of pressure. Like they're trying to bring him down and then rotate in. Like yeah. that's why you saw the next assassin come in a little bit later. They're trying to keep him low. Give Ice 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 the confidence to stand in the lane, thinking there's only two, and then. Rotated behind but you see, it's not so bad for them, right? AM is on 2.3k net worth and Centaur is on 2k. Oh, boom. Trouble for him. The wall is up, locking him in. Looking for that impel stun, but here comes Jabs! Rolling bolter forward, gets a double kick. Assassination will end up killing off Nietzsche. Moon pulling out of it. Now he'll actually just... Okay, well, he potentially could have held it back once again to now focus on, over on to the poor running away disruptor. So they're pretty much supposed to like, They were trying to tower the sniper, sniper but the uh, rotations were spot on from Mineski this time. Protecting him. He's gonna do. He needs to connect with the Infernal Blade. He's gonna have a chance to kill off the Venomancer here. Yeah, Venom's there. And yep, there's Infernal Blade. Charge oh, coming in, but Stampede allowing it to back up. Oh. A quick deny. The charge is still coming forward. And Partos has burned everything he's got. They're gonna pull out of it, however. No reason yeah. to try and find the Doom. But at least denies him the first kill Up with that Doom. And yep, Ice Ice Ice. This time the wall won't lock him in. He's got one charges. He's also got the raindrops, but does a heavy amount of damage with his own color, with his own double edge shot. Well, you know, the, the deny was so close on bot lane. He had four health, and then he got denied by the Earth Spirit. <laughs> and it's really, really crucial for Doom to get these kills to actually snowball. Mm -hmm. Now he's still very poor. He would have been on par almost with the Venom if he had gotten that kill. That's very good. I, I forgot the center was actually there. Yeah. He's level 6 minutes 7 is very quick. And it worked for both too, like Jabs have very quickly closed that distance. Rolling ball to forward, Partos, they're slowing him down, but Gale will connect. Gale and Poison Sting and Nova! Yeah, you ain't regenerating through this. That's multiple types of aids now. And, uh, well, goodbye Doombringer. Karkot was trying to move over to help, but just doesn't work. And his B was also charging him, he was like, super dead. Yeah. Sniper's having a very good game this time around. Because they can't really gank him. It's very, very hard to get to a sniper in this game. Well, it feels like the top lane and bottom lane are more successful for, Min for Mineski, so... Yeah. Like, how do you do it? Your Nyx as well as Disruptor aren't really the greatest gankers for the mid. They had the Earth Spirit previously, which did a great job. But that's in the hands of Mineski. Yeah, they need a level 6 on Nyx. Oh, Ooh. the kick. No, they'll start Charge themselves again. up, but it's Ninja Boogie <laughs> charging through. They can turn their attention towards Partos, but just the, the Disruptor. Coming in, they can glimpse back in. That's why Mushi is standing his ground. They stampede up from the centaur. Nothing really came from that, however. Yeah, they just wanted to like, get out of there, but then they glimpse. Mushi. Mushi's he came dead. up way too far, and yeah. now they're just gonna fight him and kill him. So you wanted that kill, 
You're gonna get it. Three heroes had to rotate in from Kingwood to do it, but Mushi will lose his life. Yeah, he was just up way too far there. Overcommitted a bit. So Nisha level eight. He's going. He's gonna go back to base now. He's up and then hopefully smoke with the support because they need to make space for his anti mage right now. The hard carry is the AM this game, and they they just need to make sure that he has a lot of space to farm. Da -da 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 oh, he pulled out. <laughs> oh wait, did he get bashed by Roshan? <laughs> I think he got bashed by Roshan. He charged yeah. through the pit. <laughs> Judging from his health, yeah, he Dyer's got hit like three or four times. Uh, oh, oops. That was meant to be their attack this into Exotic Deer on top, but now they've lost the vision of him in the trees. So they're actually taking the sniper to top lane now in order to attacked. get a tower. AM to peek down to... Bot lane. Yeah. Mushi's actually in trouble. Yep, they doom him up. Dyer's Where's that TP support Dyer's coming their way? He'll get back up underneath the tower. Exotic Deer wants to keep running in. As uh, Mushi, he's dropping down low. Yeah, here comes your sniper, Exotic Deer. Oh, Dyer's he's lost sight of him. He doesn't see Mushi anymore. Mushi attacks the creep, reveals his position. He's so no low on life, but not low enough to die. Exotic Deer, Dyer's by mana voiding, allows Moon under to under attack him back. And Reed's that is not the rotation that King one wanted. At least they're getting Nisha's attack into the tier one tower mid Dyer's top as a rebuttal. Is being attacked. But power still alive. Taking damage. Not destroyed yet. And they committed a DPO for that too. So they can't really team fight. They're gonna lose top tower. Or are they? No, oh, I just love the way yeah. Ice Ice postures it. Well, I got the entire creep wave plus a catapult there. You know, I'm still gonna run at you. Spy Carapace creates a little bit of space. Assassination will kill off the disruptor. Just wonderful work from both Ninja Booking and Jabs. Real, yep. real thorns in the sides of Kingwin. And the problem with this game for Kingwin is. They can't really Dyer deal with the double roam of SB as well as Earth Spirit. They don't really have defensive support Dyer's at all. The only thing they have is like a Nyx and a, a Disruptor who are more aggressive than defensive for sure. So it's going to be hard to make space for that anti mage simply because they can't really protect him from all these rotations. Mm -hmm. And then if if like his rotations fail like that, it's going to just be a very very rough game for him. At this rate, you should have a battle at around 15 minutes, which is not terrible. Definitely not what you're looking for. But he's, by 15 minutes, it's, he's still going to lose a large amount of control. Because the Venomance is going to start to do his push. Yep. Sensor has more pressure. And uh -oh. Jabs, so on the money. They connect with the girl, glimpsing back the Venomancer. So Exotic Deer able to TP away to safety. The Gale is not enough damage. I'm, I'm surprised he didn't commit the Venom ult there. Maybe it was on cooldown for a very short time. But he could have definitely Venom ulted him. Shields! <laughs> Immunity shield. Scouting out the Nyx Assassin, they jump back out, he goes yep. into Vendetta. Nyx level 6, this guy bottom is gonna... God, Mushi. I... Okay, Mushi. Yeah, this, yeah. this is a kill. But, but he's also but gonna lose his life for He's it. losing his life for a Disruptor, and, and then, then moving up to deny him. Okay, the timing wasn't quite right for the denial, but uh, a kill is a kill. They yeah. bring five Gold heroes Dyer from King One to do this? Yeah, the problem for Antimesh is he can't really stay against the uh, Centaur anymore. And he doesn't want to go against the Sniper either. So bottom lane is the only lane he can really farm against the Venomancer, who will also pressure him out of the lane though. That's why I'm saying they need to start fighting at four heroes and make a lot of space for him. Mm -hmm. Can you go to the return build on the Centaur? Like, can you actually get that build which... Uh, you mean the, you mean the Vanguard into a max return? Yeah. Oh, trouble. Yes, gonna get doomed up. Moon just focusing on killing off one. Oh wow, that stampede! They got the movement speed to get up. Yes, it's still pretty damn low. Disrupted, the only one to fall so far. He is going to barely survive four HP on the ES. He'll wand up now. Throws in the kick. Charge more from Ninja Boogie. Moon's already got two kills. He's looking for a third at the moment. They're slowing down Nisha, and they will be able to oblige him. This sniper is gonna get out of control. And Kingwood, what do you do to stop it? Urn charges are already coming in. The sustain is wonderful. And ice, ice, ice. The Dyer's forgotten one on top lane. Damage. But it is really so unlucky for Kingwood. Both heroes, like one had four health, the other had like ten health. Uh -huh. They're missing out on these kills, and then they just earn up and they return to the let's, fight. Let's see that again. So this is the initiation. Two heroes commit into jabs. Did that blast actually clip him? Yeah, it did. Okay. And then he survives the Doom with 5 health. Yep. And Sniper was very... He, he played very well there because he didn't Shrapnel. Because if you Shrapnel, you can get um, the Carapace stun mm -hmm. on top of him. But he just didn't Shrapnel, he was just auto-attacking people. You know, Nyx even used his Carapace, like thinking that he would Shrapnel, but he just didn't do it. So he technically didn't do anything to the Sniper. And he just got a triple kill there. And now, with that kind of play, 
Vaneski getting more and more powerful. They've got aggressive wards watching the anti-mage's farm area. So they're ready to fight. Cash, you have any blink daggers that we have over on Maneski right now? If we want to check their inventory. To get a blink dagger already on Mushi, he used that in the last fight. And the next one's going to come on Centaur. He needs 30 gold for now. now. Okay, he got it right now. <laughs> yeah. And then they got SB as well as Earth Spirit, who kind of just don't even need a blink. They're really, really mobile already. Mm -hmm. So Ice has Ice is setting up for bot lane. They might want to try to burst on this DP, but. Nah, they're probably just going to trade for They're top. trying to find him. They yeah. found him. Yeah. Boom! Dyer's what? top tower is being attacked. <laughs> okay! Dyer's he doesn't top even top see him! Yeah, Starsen is tingling. He doesn't even see him! <laughs> How are you so good, yeah. Ice Ice Ice? They didn't even scan either. So. No! Yeah. He literally just. Like, I think something is wrong. Blink. Hmm. There's no sentry ward in the lane. Yeah. There's, there's nothing. nothing. Yeah. The thing is, Rage <laughs> is getting a free tier 2 tower top while they're not even trying to pressure the bot tower. But it's very awkward right now for, for Kingwin. Yeah. They're trying to find the best way out of a bad situation. But when they continue to lose more and more map control, this money is flooding in for Maneski. Yeah, 5k lead already. I think Mushi even went for the gold Radiant's the gold talent too, so fire. like there's more and more money. Oh yeah, Venu has a gold talent now. Yeah, he's got about 90 that. gold per minute from level 10. Yeah, as if he needed that. And he got it so early on too, like this is just gonna start to bank. Yep. Radiance bottom tower so is being attacked. Next to pit top. Uh -huh. but, but they have a sentry ward already in place. Yeah, the sentry ward's in place. They've got a bunch of plague wards also ready to fight. Charge comes in from Ninja Boogie. Assassination of the Disruptor. They're going to end up cancelling off at least the uh, the nether strike of the SB. But the life stampede is being used again. They can disengage from the Kingwin attack. Take both of the supports down. And Centos now doing his push on bottom. Ice 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 has been more influential than most of the Kingwin lineup, and he's not even in the engagements. Yeah, he's just split pushing a Centaur, which is not bad because the return choose through towers really quickly. Yeah. And his, his levels as well are just skyrocketing. Yeah, he's like he's already 12. level 12. Yeah. But the problem is, Kingwin's lineup has Whatever no damage at all without a DP. And DP has not been part of any fight yet. Like you can see, he's 1, 3, and 0. So they didn't actively try to find a fight with a DP yet. Which is a yeah. bit worrying. They they had the one on top, but that was that was it. It's it's a it's a rough run at the moment. Dyer's Exotic Deer is, is rapidly attacked. approaching yeah. the battle fury. Then his farm can start to skyrocket Dyer's as long as they can maintain fallen. map control. Yeah, which is going to be very, very hard right now because they have two blink daggers, SB as well as um, Earth Spirit. Yeah. You you watch him have to stand there for a long time. Yeah, <laughs> it's a bit sad, man. <laughs> the, what do you actually think of like? Like you are, you are an anti mage expert. Mm -hmm. Break it down with the AM. What are the what are the hard things Dyer's that the new AM makes us deal with? This is not going to come to anything. So <laughs> feel free to go ahead and break us break us Radiant's down the new AM. Well, the new AM. What do you mean by the new Dyer's AM? Well, with it, with the blink changes. All oh, right, 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 right. Yeah. Like, so basically, what happened last patch? The cooldown got um, increased from five to six seconds. So basically, Radiant's your entire time speed is reduced by like twenty percent because you can only blink every six seconds now which is incredibly long when you compare it to the old one. And of course, especially in this game, where he has like a really hard lineup to play against already, it's just gonna like make you Manta come in later by like a minute or a minute and a half, and yeah. you maybe die once or twice more because of that. And at level 15, you have no choice but to get the two second blink cooler now. Like before, you kind of had a choice because 15 is quite good. One second, you know, 15 kind of debate about it. Yeah. I guess they just get a free Roshan. Yeah. Roshan for tier 1 tower. Oh, that was a close to PR. Yeah. And the glimpse will pull Mushi back out while Death Prophet yeah. TPs to safety. Yep, that was good. I mean, they, they made the best out of it. Yeah, it's it was space creator for Exotic Deer. Yeah. Battle Fury's up. Yeah. He's rapidly approaching the Manta. Yeah. Like, as I said, around minute 25. It's pretty late already, but that's probably what he will end up with this game. And we'll have to see whether it is too late by that time or not, because... The Doom is really poor. Right now it's only the DP and the AM that have like somewhat of a farmed game, like, like somewhat of a good game. Mm -hmm. And you look at the look at the DP almost finish her Yules. That charging top. Going after Exotic Deer. Nice charge forward. Going after Pushing Centaur back and, uh, Well, yep. all that farm doesn't count for much if you don't yep. survive ability. Meanwhile, Centaur initiating up. They're pulling back into the storm. Starts the TP. The life. It's not going to be yep. enough when you have a Dark Troll Summoner inside the Doom, giving him that extra control factor. 
in the back lines are also attacking into the disruptor while Nisha being ripped apart. It's uh, just a little too easy for Moon and Ninja Boogie until the Spirit Cyphers come back up again. Now assassination Nisha executed. Doom is on Mushi. He's the man that was trying to kill off the disruptor. The wall won't hold him in position. That charge, Boogie! Alright! As Team 3 tower the troll trap, they caught him before he's able to connect. The kick, however, will fly through from Jabs. So they'll still find that kill. The cost is going to be the Spirit Breaker. But Mushi survives yet another Doom on himself. But this is like a typical game when Antimage has like a very rough game. He's kind of like a non factor. And especially against Spirit Breaker, he would usually just start feeding for a very long time. Because They're wrapping around. They're Where wrapping around. Wrapping around where? He's gonna hit him with Vendetta. Uh, Mushi oh. starts the blink. There's no sentry ward. That's, that's the second time that Mamaneski player has blinked away with no detection well, from the next assassin. I, I, I think this time it was just because he wanted to get back to base, probably. Yeah. 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 But they, and, and the last time yeah. it was like he just wanted to get back near the tier one tower with the blink. But <laughs> either way, it's Nick's assassin getting denied. No, may, maybe bot lane was more like a star sense kind of thing, you know? Because mm -hmm. like, hmm, Nick has been missed for a long time. But yeah. Like. I've played so many AM games against a Spirit Breaker, right? And you just feel miserable. Because he just charges you, and as soon as he connects with you, you know you're dead. Because there's another hero that will just kill you. <laughs> and he's having one of the roughest games, like, Go forever. For this is gonna take so long for him to get up at Manta Star. They're losing map control rapidly. The only tower they have, they are only the bottom two is still up. And after they lose that, it will be contained in their base, and Entmish will have a very rough time. Do you think he's actually capable of jumping through the Radiant Jungle? Uh, that, that, is actually that. This, that is the safest place right now for him. Because for sure, they were focused on the dire side of the map for a very long time. But surprisingly enough, they have no wards up there right now at all. Smoke comes out. I don't think that was in range of the dire observer ward. It was no, it close. Was not. It was not. Yeah. But there was no ping, and I shall trust my co caster on this saying it was not. Yeah. And then. So Antimage is kind of trying to farm. Oh, oh no, no, not where you want to be. Oh, they get the silence off. They have the controls. Stampede as well, bringing in Sentinel. Where's the blink? Not available. Smite Carapace TP out. Is there a stun? Is there a damage? Double edge? Nothing. You know what the problem for Aim is right now? He thinks that. Wait, is there going to be action? Yeah, he there is. They have glimpsed the Jabuki back into the storm. With the Spirit Siphon, they're trying to hold him there. Charge is available, but they have enough attack. damage before the Storm will end off. So, uh, what, is, yeah. what is another problem? Now, the, pro the problem for AM is he wants to farm the enemy jungle, which usually is the safest place right now. But, funnily enough, they don't have any wards in the Dire jungle, but they warded up the Radiant jungle already. I mean, the Radiant team did. So, he will actually fall into this trap where he will just keep getting caught in the Radiant jungle. Because that's not usually where you play around at this time. And we just saw it there. He wanted just to farm like some neutral camps at the Radiant Jungle, and he just like, gets killed instantly. Mm -hmm. It's like the worst feeling. Ooh, that's an interesting glimpse. I'm surprised he did that. He revealed the fact they have vision around there. Yeah, he, yeah, yeah. there was. I, I don't even know what the glimpse accomplished. Yeah, it, it didn't really accomplish anything. Like, yeah. like Nisha is is hovering around, but they're not going to hold that tier two town. They're definitely not going to bite into an Aegis the Immortal Sniper. Yeah. But well, they have Blink Dagger on DP soon, they, so they will be able to reach the Sniper, but they have mm -hmm. um, Stampede for him to just... But it doesn't, he also went Shadow like Blade. They don't have the same level of uh, intimidation that came in game one. Like, when a light can reach the Sniper, you're like, oh, crap. Yeah. Like, I actually... Like, Moon would instantly TP away. Oh, Exotic Deer. The charge is coming in. The kick is perfect. He's burned his TP scroll. Silence no up forever. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 25 minutes? Like, do we add plus two now? Yep, or uh, maybe three even. All three. I all mean, right. he needs like another 2,000 gold. It's very, very hard for him right now. Mm. But like, what can he really do, you know? Like, he has to split away from his team. Yeah. He, he has no other choice, but he doesn't know where the Mineski vision is. And his yeah, team can't exactly. deward that. This will come yeah. in handy. And the biggest problem is, uh, right now they're smoking up as four, while AM is dead. So they actually are making space Damn, for this, no this one. This is a chance. Ninja Boogie. Pulling his way down the river, breaks the smoke, reveal. Okay, yeah, there is no chance. <laughs> and even if they do go... Okay, there's no stampede. So they have the opportunity to kill the Spirit Breaker. Yeah, what is the Spirit Breaker support, you know? I mean, it's good gold, but ultimately it won't really give you anything of the map. And, mm -hmm. and they actually have a Sentry Ward there, but they're not dewarding the ward. Oh, they'll do it now. No, actually, they, no, they, they don't they're see they're it. It's the yeah. other side of the tree. Yeah, they, oh, no, they saw it, they saw it. They just pinged it out. Okay, <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Good, good, good. Because it, it looks like it's just on the other side of the tree. So huh? Yeah, it's on the other side of the tree. They don't see it. <laughs> but they just pinged there. Maybe they did. They were looking for the bounty room. Now they just lost the Nyx Assassin. And because they actually hung around a little bit longer, it allowed Maneski to cut between Kingwood and their retreat back to the base. 
Which is where Mineski are looking to find the jump forward. They do not find the disruptor. Centaur ult. A quick TP away. They were using it yeah. to try and close the distance on the on the disruptor. All right, and he was just TPing out. I don't think they're going to care as much about the disruptor, however. Like, two BKBs no, have arrived. Both Sniper yeah. and Venomancer both have their BKBs yeah. done. They're going to try to crack high ground soon. Or they will even just, like, start. No. <laughs> Alright, jump in. There's your two. They Better don't play. actually hold him inside the wall and they're just kicking the poor little sniper away. Nisha is keeping the chase going, but oh, the ward block thought for a moment is just going to properly hold him in. Not going to happen, however. Yo, this is like when AM loses a lot of value. Like, basically, he's just a. A AM like, loses value? Like, he, he, can't, he can't blink Manta and attack. You yeah. now don't have Doom available. That and was, if you burn Exorcism, Mineski's just going to disengage once yeah, again. But compare him to a hero like a Lycan right now, right? You can't split push in this game, and you have like half the fighting power of a Lycan, not even. So you're basically just dead weight for your team. <laughs> because you're so far behind. You're supposed to be actually like at the bottom tier 2 right now with the proper items, but he's so far behind, he can't actually do anything other than sit in the base and wait for the creep wave to reach his tower. He can't go out and cut creep waves. It is... I don't know. The rush spot for an anti mage. This is so stupid. <laughs> Moon's got the range of the plague wards are giving him the vision on the high ground. Yep. And, and because uh, Ice 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 is holding the creep wave on the bottom, it doesn't even matter if King would pull back the creep wave. So he's definitely the attack on Ice Ice Ice. He's got the hood, he's got a lot of sustain, but even that sustain won't be enough. Fuji, a three man Nova, a two man Gale with the BKB's protective. Nietzsche tries to have an offline sensor, will buy back into this game. Stampede can be triggered to give Moon just a little bit of distance so he can try and turn around. Shrapnel down, the damage is so high! King would can buy back all they want to, at least the Spike Carapace's cast off for a second, but here comes your assassination. The damage is enough! Moon is beyond godlike! Somebody kill them, it won't happen. You know, the DP was like 0. 0.1 seconds maybe. <laughs> what are you doing, Pasta? Yeah, he just he kind of died. He <laughs> jumped in to get a cannonball? They want to give him a rampage, I think. <laughs> is, this, is that what this is? We're, we're, we're trying to make everyone look really good. Anyone who's watching inside the game, we're trying to get rare drops. If those even have any more. Oh, he denied the Rex. He denied both Rex. Oh, <laughs> value! And then he dies. Hey. Oh, it's, not yet. It's, it's a lot of class in a very oh, arse situation. Time. Now, oh, Exotic Deer jumping forward, looking for the Mana Void over on Moon. He's got Shadow Blade available and he'll go in for his no detection for Exotic Deer. Sentry Ward is belonging to Vineski. Instead, there's your Mana Void. They'll kill off the ES, but in comes Ice Ice Ice. Gets the lockdown control on the Disruptor. But GG, well played. It will be a 1-1 matchup, a very needed win for Maneski where uh, King was, if they 2-0 that, if they got the 3-0, then Maneski's chances of staying alive yeah. in this top were yeah. practically dead. I'm not very convinced by the anti pick. I thought they had like 3-4 heroes that are very good against